Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be my March favorites video and I actually don't have a lot of beauty related products this month. I've just been trying to use what I have and so I'm just going to get into my favorite products and the only two beauty products I have are these two concealers and this one, um, I've used this concealer. This is the Maybelline Mineral Powder Natural Perfecting Concealer and I do believe this is discontinued. I'm not really sure. When I purchased this concealer way back, probably last year, I tried using a brush, a foundation brush to blend this concealer. It really worked and it really um, brightened up my under eyes. This product is really easily blendable. Yeah, I really like this product. If you can get your hands on it, probably online, definitely do recommend this concealer. I used this um, probably in the beginning of the month and then I switched off to this Sonia Kashuk Hidden Agenda Concealer in 07. This concealer actually has three shades and the top two right here is this is more of a medium tone concealer and this one is a light tone concealer and you can actually mix it together to match your skin tone and my favorite color out of this entire palette is this green tone concealer and this one is to reduce redness. This is probably now my all time favorite concealer. You can use this concealer whether you get darker in the summer or lighter in the winter. It just really matches many different skin tones and um, this one right here is actually a powder I don't really use it because it's so small I can barely um, none of my brushes really fit into this but this is really good for setting your under eye concealers and what I like about these concealers is that it's really creamy and it blends so well um, I definitely do think this concealer is worth 10 to 12 dollars it's an amazing next March favorite is this Sigma um, flat top kabuki brush and this is the F80 and I've heard so many great things about this flat top kabuki brush at first I didn't really want to purchase this because I already have the L flat top kabuki brush and that was three dollars and this is 16 since they are both flat top they make your foundation go on really flawlessly and I also use this to apply my BB cream if you compare this to the L flat top they are really similar this one um, is more high quality I can not feel a difference and the bristles are more tightly compact and dense so it's easier to buff in whereas the elf one is a little bit more loose so you have to kind of work it in the barrel on the elf one is a little bit more fragile so it kind of it kind of um, loosens while this one does not um, my next favorites are actually these two combs this one is more of a brush it looks really ordinary and it just has um, plastic spike plastic spikes with a kind of navy blue beads on top of it this is actually an electronic brush um, I actually got this from my aunt. She didn't want it anymore and I just took it from her. And this one actually vibrates. You put batteries in here and it vibrates. And you use it to brush your hair and it's just so massaging because it vibrates. So it's just like you're, you're massaging your hair. The brand is Jahari Redding. J-H-E-R-I Redding. R-E-D-D-I-N-G. When I use this to brush my hair, it makes my hair really soft and really tingle free which is why I really like this brush. This brush right here is a pink wide comb wide tooth brush and I, I use this um, right after I get out of the shower when my, when my hair is more damp. I use this because um, you shouldn't use a comb when you have damp hair because it's more um, prone to like breakage, hair breakage. It has a row of teeth on the front and the back so it has um, teeth in between um, front back, front back, front back. Okay, so my next favorite is actually a rose gold watch that I purchased the beginning of this month and I've been wearing it every single day. Um, I don't really own a lot of watches, so this is my first one. So it's more like an accessory and a watch and it's also rose gold. And rose gold is a really trendy color right now. First, initially, um, I saved up to purchase a Michael Kors Blair Chronograph watch, which is around $250. I saved up. I was just selling a bunch of my stuff, makeup, skincare, clothes on my Facebook. Just when I made enough money to purchase the Michael Kors rose gold watch, I didn't really want to. I didn't really feel like spending $250 on a rose gold watch. So um, I was looking around on eBay and Amazon and I was trying to find a dupe for the watch and my friend, she actually told me she purchased a rose gold watch before and I asked her to send me the link and she showed it to me and it looked exactly like the Michael Kors rose gold watch. I think this is smaller than the Michael Kors one and it has, this is a, um, I don't know what it's called, it's like it snaps on. So this is how the watch looks like. It's really shiny and you get tons of compliments. And this one is by the brand Geneva. And Cindy Crawford, who is an American model, she's the one who invented this brand. So you have a circle of um, 
crystals or like diamonds but they're fake of course and this is just a really nice watch and it has three smaller circles in there if you purchase the Michael Kors rose gold watch the inside circles they actually do move but for this watch since it is a replica um, it doesn't move and it's more for decorations and on the side there's three buttons and only the middle one works the middle one is the one that um, controls the um, the time and the top button and the bottom button are again just for design. The diameter of this watch is a little bit bigger than regular women watches because this is a boyfriend style and it's just really feminine. I really like it and you get a lot of attention and it's also easier for me to tell time now. This was only $16 compared to a $250 watch. This looks exactly the same except this says Geneva instead of Michael Kors. It's definitely a cheaper alternative if you can't afford a Michael Kors watch. My next favorite is my cell phone case. This is just a blinged out cell phone case. The phone I have is the Samsung Galaxy S, not the S2. I got this case off of blingblingcase.com and it was, out, it was around $20. I've had this case for almost a month now and none of the rhinestones came off. And the only thing, um, I guess bad thing I have to say about this is since I have a phone with a data plan, my phone often um, freezes. And that's what I hate about this phone. The only th I really hate about this phone is that it freezes so many times and I have to restart it. But since it freezes, um, I can't do anything with my phone. So I have to take off the case to remove the battery from the phone and then um, put the battery back in and then restart it so my phone um, turns on again. And this case is really difficult to remove. Once it's on, it's on. It's super difficult to remove. So that really means that it's really well made and it doesn't fall off. The case doesn't fall off. And my last March favorite is this Travelo. And this is just a on-the-go um, perfume carrier. And so this is just a mini spray and it has a spray. And this Travelo, it comes in... Um, the case of the travel comes in uh, like an assortment of colors. You can just buy a bunch of these and you can like color coordinate it according to your perfume. And I think you can get about 150 sprays if you fill this up. The spray doesn't go on too blotchy. It's just a really nice fine mist and I'll just show you guys. So it's just a really nice spray and it smells really nice. So first you want to take your desired perfume and I'm going to remove the cap and also this top nozzle right here. So you have the nozzle spray. And then you're going to take your Travelo. And this is the little vial. You get to see how much perfume you have left. And on the bottom of a vial, there is a little hole. And you're going to put this hole on top of this nozzle perfume. And you're just going to pump a couple of times or however many times you want your perfume to fill. So that is how you get perfume inside the Travelo. It's really compact and you can just fit it anywhere in your pocket, in your bag, um, in your backpack, just anywhere. And this is also, this also meets the requirement for um, if you're going um, aboard an airplane. If you're interested in purchasing your own Travelo, you can purchase it off of um, the perfumesalon.com or travelo.com. So if you like their Facebook page, you are automatically entered into winning your own Travelo and they give out one of these every single day. So that is basically it for my March favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, also, I have my 2000 subscriber giveaway contest is still currently um, running. It ends April 20th. If you haven't entered already, I will just link my giveaway video right here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, this is CY Exquisite, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.